Okay, so I came across this program the other night, and this is hands down the most inspiring program of all time. Mark Chile would fucking go in once a week for each big three lift and hit one single and then go home. Do you know how much fucking wisdom is in that? This guy just took the rule book and said, I don't give a fuck. And you know what? He did do equipped lifting, so who knows how strong he was. But regardless, with equipped lifting, we can look at the deadlift, which usually gear does nothing for deadlift. The guy fucking deadlifted mid-800s. So this guy wasn't a fucking little patty cake. Mid-800 deadlift, and all he fucking did was just one rep a week. Like, that should just tell you, like... All this fucking shit these days, hit this perfect exercise, perfect program, this and that. Do whatever the fuck you want. That's it. Once you have a goal and you can just reverse engineer a bit of it to something that half ass makes sense, half ass, and then mentally you just go fucking balls to the wall, you're going to get some results. Like, it's just fucking ridiculous. One fucking rep a week. That's it. And he only would do that just to train for competitions because, like, apparently this guy, he didn't care about lifting. He said lifting's fucking stupid, which it is. It's fucking stupid. And most of the time, he just, I think he just worked or whatever. And they said he just hit the tanning bed. Like, this guy didn't care. 12 weeks of the year, he'd just go and hit some fucking singles and then deadlift 850. That's so much to learn. People's heads are so far stuck up the fucking book's ass. I can't believe it. And there's nothing, too, because I saw this one thing. It was like uh, Dr. Mike was trying to say that, uh, I don't know, Ronnie Coleman lifts like shit and everyone loves to say that. But it's like, with all this fucking science shit, it's just hiding behind like the excuse of genetics is you can just say, oh, Ronnie Coleman's on genetics and he's on gear and that's why he can get huge. Well, if that's the case, then what's the fucking point of science? If I have to do the most perfect range of motion, this and that, just to gain half the muscle of someone else with, the, with better genetics doing whatever they want, taking a shit. What's the fucking point of training? You might as well do whatever you want anyways. So regardless, the message is do whatever the fuck you want as long as you fucking enjoy it because this shit is just for fun at the end of the day. That's it. We lift weights. It ends there. There's nothing fucking cool about it. We're not fucking pro athletes. We're not rock stars. So do whatever the fuck you want. Gain some muscle. Gain some strength. It ends there. I think I'm going to put fucking... I did, I did 10 sets of 5 on bench today for 275. For no reason, I just felt like doing it. It felt good. I felt like shit today. I was like, you know what? I did a five by five and I'm like, I'm just gonna keep going. Why not? Why not get 50 reps at 275? Just again, do whatever the fuck you want. That's the message.